quick video on my brand new launch micro stick it's the control pro 160 which means it has this front screen here uh, you've got a digital dial you've got a button for the on off um, nice control knob that also doubles up as a secondary function button and then you can switch between cellulose standard mma and tig uh, i think that's lift tig um, the machine is pretty compact to give you an idea there's a standard grind uh, slitting disc one mil slitting disc for a four and a half inch grinder you can see it's the machine's only about five inches wide um let's take standard like normal size dins connectors which is a, a nice touch um obviously it's got a digital readout um and i've just tried it for the first time the art characteristics are fantastic um I bought this machine because I heard it was very similar, similar inverter technology to the Fronius Trans Pocket. If you look at a new Trans Pocket now, they're ridiculous money. Whereas this was about the same price point as the old Trans Pocket. Um, I've got a lot of launch machines and um, I just thought I'd add this to the list. Um, so this is the machine that I think all small stick inverters, one, 150, 160 amps, should be compared to this is my front end trans pocket here um broken um size wise with the launch same length exactly the same length um the launch sits an inch higher 25 mil uh width wise the launch is a little bit wider but it does take the larger dins connectors um, which all my welding cables are, so it's like a standardised for me as I was having to use the smaller 25mm ones, whereas these are the 3550s. Um, you've got a digital readout on this, and you've got 10 more amps as well from this new machine. Um, this is the AccuReady one, which means um, that you can unplug the power cable on the back. This is just a standard 3 pin plug, um, 13 amp, and you can plug this into a battery. Or if you've got the multi-voltage one, you can have a 13 amp 3-pin uh, plug lead and a 110 lead. And you just switch, uh, switch them over. I'm not sure if the multi-voltage one's available yet, but I think it was in the pipeline. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that's the new machine. Um, it welds wonderfully, um, as expected. It's got a really, it's got quite a smooth arc. Probably not as smooth as this, but this has got a lot more arc force. And where this is the Control Pro... Uh, model I can turn the arc force down. I haven't figured out how yet, but I know you can um, So that might be something to do to smooth the arc out a little bit more for a 7018 or if you want a deeper penetrating rutile rod or if you're running 7018 in reverse polarity so electrode ne negative you might want a bit more arc force uh, Or a bit less etc. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just do a quick comparison between this and this because this was the machine I was using. It would sit in the car most of the time. Um, it has been a good machine for me. I've only had it a year. It was used before. I didn't give a lot of money for it. Um, I give 80 quid. So yeah, it hasn't cost me a great deal. I've done quite a bit of practice and a few little jobs with it. Um, this always works fine until um, it now switches on but doesn't make welding power. So it could be fixed. But yeah, this launch is new. You see it's nice. Little stainless touches there, and if I plug it back in, and I'll give you a quick rundown of the features. So, you plug the machine in, it comes on, and then it goes into a uh, power saving mode, which is quite a nice feature. So, you hold this button down for two seconds, machine comes on, goes for its warm up procedure, fan on demand. Uh, it's already gone to MMA mode because that's what I was in before. Um, and I was just welding some 3.2 7016 at 116 amps and it was putting it in there nice. Not mega hot, that was sort of just a medium. Didn't want to put too much heat into the plate. So you can switch between TIG, lift arc TIG, say lows, and this will run 6010, 6011, like your E7 Um so you've got your three modes there, and then if you hold this button down, you can get into the menu, and it gives you the parameters. So this is DAF, I assume that's arc force, and that's on 100%. STT, uh, no idea, 1.0, maybe that's electrode diameter or something. 
um, AED. Obviously, you can look up in the manual and find out what these are. Probably, I'll print a little sticker or something to stick on the top with what the settings are. Um, yeah, so that's your settings. Come out of that. I haven't changed anything. Back to there. Um, and I think after a certain amount of time, it goes back into standby mode. So, yeah, a nice little machine. Really happy with it so far. Um, I haven't taken it out on site. I literally just welded up a little lock box. Um, but I've got a couple of jobs coming up where I will need this. And I will be running it on extension lead as well, so I'll get some, um, I've only, I've just cut up my last 2.5mm core extension lead, so I'll get something a bit bigger maybe, and uh, make up a nice heavy duty extension lead, 30 metres or so, and then I can use extension leads if I need to go up a scaffold or whatever with it. So, yep, yeah, that's a Launch Micro Stick 160 Control Pro. Um, just got a read up on it now. Thanks.